Hey racers, John Racer 3 here today, back for a video that I've been planning on doing. I've had these pullback diecasts in my room for a while now, and I thought it's about time we drag racing. So as you can see, we have a makeshift Hot Wheels drag strip here, separated by Hot Wheels track, and the cars will eventually merge here in the last, let's say, seven feet or so, all the way to the finish. Here are the rules for the drag cars. It'll be one race down, whoever the farthest car is, will be the winner. Chris Chris will be starting the cars here and since we only have 12 cars there will be 3 cars in the finals so the way this will work for example if it is the Corvette, Ford GT and Sesto in the finals the Corvette will go against the Ford 2 times, the Ford will go up against the Sesto 2 times and the Sesto will go up against the Corvette 2 times and whatever car out of those 3 has the most wins when it's all over that car will be the champion. So let's get started. First up we've got Corvette versus Ford starting on the drag strip. We've got the Ford GT versus the Corvette. Three, two, one. It looks like the Ford GT is gonna win easily over the Corvette. He's moving on to the next round. Next up, we have some really fast supercars with the Sesto and the Corvette. Three, two, one. It's a close race. The Corvette is gonna beat the Sesto out of their both drag strips into the merged drag strip and beat them for the win. Next up we have some sports car. We got the Europeans with the BMW and the Americans with the Viper. Now, a special fact, the Viper is the only front wheel drive car out of all these cars. Let's see how it does against the BMW. Three, two, one. Looks like BMW is gonna beat them on the long stretch. Although the Viper has the acceleration, BMW is the winner. Next up we have the Americans with the Corvette and the Japanese with Godzilla, AKA the Nissan GTR. Three, two, one. Looks like the GTR is going to get him off the acceleration, go all the way to the blue box, beating the Camaro, the Japanese, to take this round. Next up, we have some exotic supercars. We've got the Porsche Carrera GT versus the Lamborghini Murcielago. Three, two, one. The Murcielago tries to catch up to the Carrera, but it won't be enough. The Carrera beats the Murcielago. For our final matchup, we have the Lamborghini Gallardo versus the Bentley Continental GT. Three, two, one. Looks like the Bentley is going to beat the Gallardo easily, taking the win. Here we go, we have our next round competitors. Let's see who's gonna be going into the finals. We have the Corvette versus the Ford GT, we have the BMW i8 versus the Nissan GTR, and then we have the Bentley Continental versus the Porsche Carrera. Let's get it going. We've got Ford GT versus Corvette. Three, two, one. It's a close race, but the old-fashioned 4 GT is going to beat the new school Corvette. What a race. Second round, we have the BMW i8 versus the Nissan GTR. 3, 2, 1. Both get a little bit of wheel spin off of the line, but it's the GTR eventually beating out the BMW. In the last round of the semifinals, we have the Bentley Continental versus the Porsche Carrera. 3, 2, 1. And it's going to be the Bentley easily beating the Carrera, moving on to the finals. Here we go, as you can see, we have three cars here about to go into the finals. The first round will be the Ford GT versus the Nissan GTR. Each one will switch lanes every time, then we'll do the GTR versus the Bentley Continental, switch lanes, and then we'll do the Bentley versus the Ford switch lanes. Whatever car has the most wins after all of this is done will be our winner. And if we have a tie, it'll be one drag down to the finish. First up, Ford GT versus Nissan GTR. Here we go, Ford versus GTR. Three, two, one. It's gonna be close, they collide. It's the Ford pulling in front of the GTR, taking the first win, we will switch lanes. Here we go, for the second race, they switch lanes. Three, two, one. GTR with the acceleration is gonna take this one. That leaves GTR with one win and Ford GT with one Next win. Next up, we have the GTR going again against the Bentley. Here we go, three, two, one. It's the Bentley de destroying the GTR. GTR almost was able to pass him, but it's the Bentley taking the win. Race two. Three, two, one. It's the Bentley beating the GTR again, giving him two wins. How will the Ford do against the Bentley? So the GTR is out. The GTR only actually has one win. So does Ford GT. So Ford GT has to win both of these races and able to beat the Bentley. But all the Bentley has to do is win this race, and it'll be his. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's gonna be close. The Ford GT beats the Bentley at the end. If he wins his next race, 
he'll win the drag race. It all comes down to this. Bentley versus 4GT, they've switched lanes. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's gonna be close! It's too close to call. I think the Bentley got that. We will go to slow-mo replay. With an extremely close last race, it is the Bentley moving on against the Ford. Thank you guys for watching this pullback drag strip. Thank you for Chris for starting the cars. If you want to see more races with these drag cars pull back whatever you want to call them make sure to like the video and share it with your friends and for some reason youtube has not been showing you guys my content if it is under 10 minutes so i'll have to add a photo to extend this video to 10 minutes i apologize but you can listen to some good tunes if you want to watch it through but the video's over thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and peace